This video is on monomials, power of a power. Here we have two n squared, all in parentheses in a grouping, and all of that is to the third power. So that literally means I have three different two n squares. So I have three different twos, two n's here, two n's here, two n's here, six different n's. Two times two times two is eight, and I have a total of six n's. Now, we don't go through this line or this line when we do these. We just take this three and we multiply it times the two exponents in parentheses. This two has an understood exponent of one. So three times one is three. That gives me two cubed. Two cubed is eight. Three times two is six into the six. When you have a power to a power, you multiply the exponents. On example two, I have three things in parentheses. The two, which has an exponent of one, the a, which has an exponent of two, and the b, which has an exponent of one. So I'm going to multiply, and I just want you to see those exponents are understood there. You don't have to write them like I did, but they're there. So I'm going to multiply three times one to get three, three times two to get six, and three times one to get three. And you didn't have to write two cubed here. You could have went ahead and wrote what two cubed is, which is eight. So again, you don't have to write this second line. Don't have to write this third line. You can go straight from here to here. Three times one is three and two cubed is eight. Three times two is eight to the sixth. Three times one is b cubed. Let's look at example three. I have one term in parentheses, but it's two different things. I have the coefficient four and the base of n with an exponent of three. The four has an understood exponent of one. So two times one gives me two and four to the second power is 16. Two times three is six. Again, two times one gives me four squared. Four squared is 16. Two times three gives me six. The answer is 16 n to the sixth. On example four, I have two cubed, which is all to the second power. And then all that is in another grouping brackets and all of that is to the fourth power. There's three ways to do it. You can say four times two times three to get your exponent. You can work inside out and say three times two is six, two to the sixth power and then multiply the six by four. I chose to work outside in on this one. So I said four times two is eight and then eight times three is 24. Two to the power of 24 is an acceptable answer 99% of the time. But if you put two to the power of 24 in your calculator, you'd get a really big number. And we usually don't write out the whole number if it's in the tens of millions, which I believe that one would be. Okay, we're going to try some. The video can be paused at any point for you to try it. Try number one. On number one. I have six times one on the X's, which gives me X to the six, six times four on the Y's, which gives me Y to the 24th. Your answer is X to the six, Y to the 24th. Try number two. On number two, I get four squared, which is 16. Two times four gives me A to the eighth. Two times nine gives me B to the 18th. Two times one gives me C squared. Try number three. On number three, you could work inside out. Two times two is four and four times four is 16. Outside in, four times two is eight. Eight times two is 16. Multiplication is commutative. You can multiply in any order you want. The answer is two to the power of 16 or two to the 16th power. Number four. On number four, I have two times two, which is four times two, which is eight, three to the eighth power. And if we put three to the power of eight in our calculator, it would give us 65, 61, which is not too big of a number. Number five. On number five, I have five squared, which is 25. On the A's, two times four is eight. On the B's, two times one is two. Your answer is 25, eight to the eighth, B squared. Number six. On number six, I have four squared, which is 16. On the A's, two times three is six. 
On the B's, two times nine is 18. On the C's, two times one is two. Your answer is 16, A to the sixth, B to the 18th, C squared. Number seven. On number seven, I have negative two cubed, which is negative eight. Now I wanna show you that in the calculator. Negative two cubed. If you put it in this calculator, you need parentheses to put in the negative two. Then you put it to the power of three. You have to put negative bases in parentheses in the calculator. If you don't, well, let me show you the answer to this, negative eight. If I didn't use parentheses and I just put negative eight to the power of three, it's going to cube that eight first, then multiply it times this negative because exponents comes before multiplication on the order of operations. So it gives me the wrong answer. Wait a minute. I've got to put the right thing in. It was negative two to the power of three. The answer is negative eight. Okay, so you get the same answer on either one, one of these. Here's what I meant to show. An even numbered exponent. If you have an odd numbered exponent with a negative base, you get a negative answer. If you have an even numbered exponent with a negative base, you get a positive answer. So let's look at that. Let's pretend the power was four. So if I say negative, you put it in parentheses first, like I'm supposed to. Negative two to the power of four. I should get a positive 16. Oh, didn't do to the power of them. Try that again. Negative two to the power of four. I should get positive 16, which is the correct answer because it multiplies negative two together four times. If I do it wrong, then I just say negative two to the power of four. It gives me the wrong answer because it does two to the fourth power to get 16, then multiplies times a negative because exponents comes before multiplication. All right, little rabbit hole there. So negative two cubed is negative eight. Again, negative base, odd numbered exponent, you always get a negative answer. Even numbered exponent, you always get a positive answer. And then you get F to the sixth, G to the ninth, H to the sixth. All right, number eight. Well, number eight, negative three to the power of four. I'm going to get a positive answer. I have an even numbered exponent. And three to the power of four is 81. Then you get P to the 20th, T to the 24th. And last one, number nine. Well, number nine, you get N to the 12th, P to the 4th. And that video is monomials power to a power. Thank you.